Thanks, Admiral. Um, there was some reporting overnight that the U.S. <coughs> is planning for mass evacuations of Americans if the war were to spread. Can you kind of give context of how likely you guys are viewing that scenario and, and <laughs> whether this is very top-level planning or if there's some sort of granular, granular detail that you guys are going into on this effort? I won't go into granular detail uh, on operational planning one way or another, but um, it would be imprudent and irresponsible if we didn't have folks thinking through a broad range of contingencies and possibilities. And, um, and, uh, and certainly evacuations are, are one of those things. I mean, uh, uh, there's not a place in the world where uh, the Pentagon doesn't have contingency plans uh, uh, on the shelf, may need updating, but have them on the shelf to, to help with uh, uh, the evac evacuation of American citizens. Um, and given what's going on in the Middle East right now, I think it's perfectly reasonable. I think it would be imprudent and irresponsible if we weren't. Uh, doing some kind of contingency thinking. But uh, we're not at a point of execution right now, um, and there are still plenty of opportunities, for instance, even in, even in Israel, for people to get out. We're still, we're still doing contract charter flights, and there's still commercial flights going in and out of Ben Gurion, and frankly, the demand signal for our contract charter flights hasn't been very high. We're, they're still going, but they're not all filled. Um, and the same could be said for uh, places like Lebanon. But, um, but each, each country's different. And the threats and challenges in each will, will change over time. Um, and we're doing all the right prudent thinking that you, you would expect us to. Okay. I, I know that we've, um, that you've thanked Qatar for its role in helping to secure the release of some of the hostages so far. But I was wondering if the U.S. believes that Qatar should expel the Hamas leaders that are in the country right now. Uh, I, I don't think, uh, well, I'll just say we're, uh, we're having conversations with, with partners across the region. Um, and, uh, and we know that Qatar has... Uh, an open line of communication with Hamas. Um, and as you saw, we thank Qatar for, for their support and helping get those two Americans out. I, I would just tell you that those discussions and, uh, and those conversations are ongoing and, and, and critically important, and I think I need to leave it at that.